getting them doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> Hi loves. So today I wanted to talk about um, tattoo removal and the process. I have a lot of questions all the time when people see my tattoo, they're like, oh, like, are you just getting it done? It's like, what happened there? So I figured, you know, put it all together in one video and post it on YouTube. So hopefully you guys find it helpful. So in this video, we will see um, from how my tattoo looked before, like very first time, what the cover up was. Um, then session one, two, and so on until what I have now. So watch till the end and don't forget to subscribe. I never know where it is. Here or here? Well, you guys can see it. So this is my very first tattoo that I got in Slovakia when I was about 14 or 13 years old. Um, my friend actually did it. So yeah, he messed it up pretty bad. I have scars from it actually. And this one is the cover-up that I got like maybe 10 years ago. It was here in the U.S. Um, it was just a cross, of a very, very dark. And I just, I got it because I was sick of looking at that other messed up one. And here's a photo of my very first tattoo removal, session one, day one versus day six. And session two actually did a real number on me, as you can tell. It was this cussing and it was painful and oh my god but that was only session two <laughs> i think after like a session three it started like you could really start noticing that it was getting more and more faded especially certain spots like the top over there but i also want to say that the actual tattoo removal is very painful it's so much more painful than getting an actual tattoo not only it's painful like during the session but after like few days after it's just like it's so sore like you can't touch it you can't lay on it you, you can barely move the arm and the session itself the pain it feels like i'd compare it to getting burnt on the oven over and over like non-stop so today is gonna be my session number seven or eight for the tattoo removal um, it's one o'clock now, appointment is at 1.45 and I'm gonna put on the Numb Master, hopefully that will help me a little bit. So um, I'll keep you guys posted, I'll show you what the process is and hopefully this will give you some better idea about tattoo removals and the fun that comes with it. So this is it. I'm just waiting. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh my god. So, this is the pain machine. Why do I even bother with this numbing stuff? It doesn't even work. 
painful obviously um as you can see but i'm glad it's over she all bandaged me up becky is the best she really is um so if you guys are you know in albany area need a tattoo removed go see her she's a chow plastic surgery she does awesome job like she she's the best so day two as you can see, it's like really bumpy and it actually looks a lot darker on day two than it did before. Like, that's the weirdest thing. Um, it gets really dark right after she does it and then slowly it gets lighter and lighter. <clears throat> like, look. The tape is actually like the worst part of it. Like, oh my god, look at this. It was so painful to like get that off <laughs> but yeah i'm excited to see like what it looks like uh once it's healed like the top the ink is almost like completely gone from the top so Ugh. long ass process Alright guys, so this is it. Hope you, ho hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, and anyways, so this was after my session 8. Uh, I need to schedule another one. I mean, sometimes it looks lighter, sometimes it looks darker. I don't know, like, it depends on what light, but I mean, you can barely see it. Like, I just, I, I love that. So hopefully I do not get to session number 10. But I'll, I'll keep you updated. I'll probably post another video once it's completely gone as a follow-up on this. Um, and also I wanted to mention that you can only do each session with like two months of space between, I think, or something like that. Like it has to completely, completely heal. So it's a long process. But anyways, see you guys next time.